Well, hello, hello. Welcome back. Today belongs to love. Let me not fear. Yeah, just that. You know, I could end the video right here and leave it at that, but I won't. That's today's idea. It's lesson 274 from the workbook for students is today belongs to love. Let me not fear. So as always with practicing the ideas from the workbook, if all you do is remember this idea and recite it quietly, peacefully, lovingly to yourself once or twice a day, that in and of itself will bring you tremendous growth on the path. Now imagine if you do it a couple hundred times, you know, like if you do it a lot, but even if that's all you do, today's idea is that powerful. And in fact, you can say that. You can absolutely say that about every single idea here in the workbook. It's, it's so brilliant and so beautiful. And if you allow yourself to entertain these ideas and practice them and apply them, you'll find yourself well before lesson 274 in the process, you'll find yourself a really different person than you were when you started out. There's no way, no way that it could possibly be otherwise. And isn't that exciting? I mean, don't you want to admit to yourself that that's what you want? Are you ready to accept that that's what you really want, the peace of God? Today and every day belong to love. So let us not fear. We have seen in the thought system of A Course in Miracles, which by the way, is not the only spiritual practice and modality, thought system, I don't know, name the noun, they're all just words. It's not the only presentation of spirituality that tells us that love and fear are not the same thing, and that one is real, one is not, and it's not the only modality that tells us that one's real, one's not, and one leads to happiness and the peace of God, and the other leads us right back to the hamster wheel of suffering and bullshit. It's not the only one. So if you're practicing other modalities, excellent, right? Excellent. No doubt you're noticing a theme here. And the theme is today and every day belong to love because only love is real. It's literally all there is. Here in the world of illusion and space and time, it seems to take a lot of time for us to wake up and realize this and allow this. Seems to take. What's going on here is that we, our higher self, right? one with God, we're inviting ourselves to allow the truth to be as it is. We really are. This is the practice. It's allowing everything to be just as it is. Just let truth be as it is. It only appears passive on the surface. It is the most active thing that you can possibly do. 
The decision for love over fear is the most crystal clear. It's the most acute. It's the most active and immediate decision you could ever make. Ever. Now, spirituality most certainly has what looks like a passive element to it, doesn't it? It's about allowing and accepting and flow. And yeah, it is. Part of being in the flow is active and immediate and requires your volition. A lot is made of masculine and feminine energies in the spiritual community. There are many terms, including the divine masculine, the divine feminine, the toxic masculine, which of course there's evidence of that everywhere we go. You look at your news feed yet today? <laughs> if you haven't, good, right? You know what's waiting there. <laughs> so what's really going on is spirituality is both. Being in the flow is both active and passive. It's active in the sense that you make a choice in the present moment to get out of your own way. You choose love. You say to your teacher, run the show of myself. I can do nothing. Should sound familiar. That's a choice, an active and immediate, active, pa not passive, but immediate choice. The passive component also is active. It's stepping aside. It's allowing things to be as they are. So it's setting an intention and not becoming preoccupied with how it's going to play out. Let's look at a couple examples of this. One is from the world that people call, well, manifestation, next level manifestation, and uh, things like that. But the spiritual community has a lot of that. The principle is the same that we're going to talk about here. So if you set as a goal a brand new Mercedes Benz and you're crystal clear about it, right down to the color, the year, right, all of the accoutrement, right? The features, the bells and whistles, the shiny shit, right? If you've got that all crystal clear and planned out, that's an active component. The so-called passive component is just letting that happen, letting go and letting it happen. And the phrase let go and let God is very powerful and it's very helpful in spirituality, isn't it? It's what we're doing. Now, if your goal is a shiny black Mercedes, where we get into trouble, even with that kind of manifestation, is in attempting to tell the universe how it's going to show up for us. We want to control everything. And without necessarily intending to, we could fuck it all up, <laughs> couldn't we? We could get in the way of that happening quickly by worrying about things, by choosing to pass up opportunities that are there to help us get that. And we spend a lot of time in our heads spinning and manipulating, orchestrating. You control freak, are you? Are you, right? Only you would really know if you are. But I want to submit that each and every one of us is to a degree, because we all do this, don't we? We intend something, and then we spend some time, maybe a little, maybe a lot, trying to tell the universe how it should happen. Now, that's manifestation of a desire on a physical level. And I, as a spiritual teacher, invite you to go, please go beyond that. 
The same power can bring you the peace of God. Why are you not setting that as your goal? I think you just answered that, right? And if you are setting that as your goal, great. That's what A Course in Miracles invites us to do. Use that power, the power of our mind, our own nature, to attain the only thing that really matters, the peace of God. Same principle applies as with the Mercedes. It's an active intention. In fact, it's covered in some of the previous lessons here in the workbook. It's an active intention we can still get in our own way by trying to tell God how salvation should come and when, right? But uh, let me go off, and that's how we keep forms of specialness to ourselves. That's why we keep special forms of hatred. Let's use politics as an example. The group of people that does not agree with you is demonic scum, right? In a lot of people's minds. Yeah. And we want to forgive them, but, but later, right? After this budget cycle passes or after the administration changes, after the next elections, right? Yeah, just wait, wait. I'm not ready yet. And we tell ourselves that all the time. We tell ourselves on the one hand, above all else, we want the peace of God. That's a workbook idea here. And then we try to tell God exactly how and when it should happen. That's getting in our own way. And what is that but fear? Right? In both examples, the Mercedes example, the peace of God example, what is that but fear? It's fear that you can't do it, right? It's fear that it's not going to happen the way you want it to happen. It's fear that you suck your scum. I mean, really, this is the way we talk to ourselves. And of course, it's not helpful, but it's so ingrained that this is why we need repetition in spiritual practice. Just like that speaking slowly on purpose so that when this message is ready to land for you, it freaking lands, right? Big time. That's what I want. I hope that's today for you, by the way. Yeah, I want this to hit you that the present moment is all there is and we have a choice. We have a choice, love or fear. Let today belong to love. Don't fear. Fear comes up as it will, so be it. Choose love right there in the present moment. Bring this awareness to the table. Practice your spirituality, whether it's this workbook or something else or both combined. It doesn't make any difference to me and it shouldn't make any difference to anybody else at all. Whatever the outward form is, do this work. Choose love in the present moment. Choose your higher self. I want you to do that, please. Please? I said please. And who's going to benefit? Every living thing, starting with yourself. I mean, you start with yourself, don't you? you? Start where you are, so to speak. Present moment awareness. It's so critical. That's why spiritual traditions worldwide preach that, and they do. And I do. It's important. This is why we're always choosing. You know, what are you choosing? I invite you today to choose love. And again, I invite you to do this often today. But even if all 
that you do is remember this workbook idea once or twice. That's wonderful. It's huge. It's absolutely huge. So please do that and take this to heart. And I will see you again right here in this video series as we continue through the workbook for students.